Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, in my last video, I talked a long, long, long time, as I usually do, and I covered a lot of uh, safety prepping survival gear that you might consider having in your rig uh, and might be helpful to you, uh, all based on the video I shot earlier, uh, Don't Die Out Here. And so, based on that, I'm going into a lot more detail about what you might want to keep on hand so that you prevent uh, anything bad happening from you when you're out boondocking. We love boondocking, but there is an element of risk, and so this is going to ameliorate those risks. So, now we'll continue where we left off. We'll just pick up right in the middle, and we'll cover the last half of uh, how to build your own bug out bag so you don't die out here. Okay, let's watch the video now. I think a survival blanket is absolutely crucial. It does several things. You wrap it around. You see this guy in the picture? He just wrapped it around himself. That's going to go a long way to keep you warm. If you do build a fire you uh, and you're going to lay down beside the fire, you build a tarp wall. So here's the tarp wall. Here's you in your uh, sleeping kit. Here's the fire. With a radiant, this the fire will go, the heat will come from the fire, hit this, bounce right back on you. You won't be, you won't believe how warm this combined with even a very small fire will keep you. You can see on the picture here, they're orange. Uh, you stretch it out and the plane flying overhead is going to see that orange. Now they make the little tiny ones that are that fold up to the size of a uh, emergency ones, they call it. They fold up the size of a deck of cards. Those aren't going to last for any length of time. This is a handheld flare. It's uh, made by Orion. They're one of the leaders in um, in uh, nautical safety. These are designed for to be used on a boat. You can actually you strike it and you hold it. You can actually hold it in your hand. Helicopter's flying over. You got a flare out and you're waving it. Oh boy, that's about as good a, as you can do. You can start a fire with it. You're going to start a fire with this. So this is a really remarkable tool. You can signal for safety. You can start your fire. You can fight off a bear. I mean, it's just, uh, it, it'll give you light. I mean, it's, it'd be a really poor way to get a light, but if you had to have light just desperately, you're going to have light with one of these in your hand. So now let's move on to another source of light and heat that you may never have thought about before, and I hadn't thought about before, and I ran across it on YouTube videos, and shortening. This is a three pound can <clears throat> of shortening. It turns out that shortening burns super, super, super well. And it puts out a lot of light and a lot of heat for a very, very, very long time. You buy these uh, tapered candles and uh, you open it and you want it to be about just above the, uh, the level of this thing. You cut it off, push it down in there, and then uh, you light it and it burns it. it be the oil becomes the wax. And of course, it probably isn't going in your bug out bag, but this is something I'd keep and I would use. Talking more about light, uh, I have a video I put out uh, just on flashlights. Uh, and so uh, these are my two favorite flashlights. I'll put links down below. This one throws a remarkably long light and in search and rescue situation, this is what you need. The big thing is it's adjustable. See how that it goes up and down? That focuses the beam. And when the beam is focused on, pulled out, it throws an incredibly long beam. So if there's a plane up there or a helicopter or you hear something over on the ridge and you're shining this, even during the day, this could save your life. And it puts out a remarkable amount of light. Uh, keep it on low. It'll burn a long time on the battery. It's USB, so you can USB recharge it. We'll talk about that. Uh, I really love this light. Uh, it's kind of hard to carry this around as a bug out bag, but it's one I always would have. I will always own a flashlight light like this in my rig. There'll never be a time when I don't have one. For a small one that I will carry around with me, uh, this is made by Anker, A-N-K-E-R, one of my favorite brands. And they it, uh, it also shortens and lengthens, and that's how you uh, uh, focus it or broad out it's a really great light for how cheap it is. Again, it's USB rechargeable. This is made by Coast. So of course, you know what a headlamp is. You just got a headband, you put it on there. This one is made by Coast. It puts out a great amount of light. Really, really good one. I love, this is my, by far my favorite. One of the things I love about it is it is also adjustable. So 
you can focus it down to a beam or broaden it to a narrow. This just twists. And then Lucy Light, of course you're familiar with Lucy Light. We're all familiar with Lucy Lights. Uh, it's got its own little uh, solar panel on it. You blow it up and you put it, leave it out in the sun and, during the day and then at night you have light. It's got its own built-in battery. Uh, the newer ones have a USB port, so you can charge them off a of USB as well. How are you gonna charge all these things? If you're trapped for 49 days, the one lady was out there for 49 days. Uh, well, you probably have solar on board, and if you have solar on board, then you're set. You don't need to worry about it. If you don't have any solar yet, I would really strongly consider that you consider one of these. Uh, they're just little panels. You can see how tiny this is. I think this is probably 15 watts, 21 watts. I think this is 21 watts. You got a little solar panel and it has a USB outlet. Uh, it's hidden away in here. So there's two USB outlets here. This is how you're gonna recharge all these things. I'd buy a bigger one. This is 21 watts. It's a good size, but it's very tiny. You can fit this. You could carry this in your, your bug out bag and you'd always have a source of USB power. For your cell phone, uh, so if you eventually do come back into cell service, you got cell service, you're calling for help, aren't you? And uh, I would buy a bigger one than this. Then I carry a, this is made by Anchor. Uh, it's just a great big USB battery. I carry uh, USB cables, charge it off a solar panel. A lot of nomads find this, this to be adequate. So you get one of these in between 40 and 60 watts and a, and a USB bank. Many, many nomads say that's all the electricity I need. Uh, you might think about getting a, an emergency radio. This does not broadcast. You can get them to broadcast. You're talking about a lot more power. These come with multiple ways to charge. It has a big battery. You can charge it off of your solar by USB, and then you can charge other things off of it because it's a big battery and also has a solar panel. So you can plop out the solar panel and you can charge it off the solar panel. It has its own flashlight. It has a really good light. You can listen to radio. Um, you can um, have light. You can charge other devices. And it's got a solar panel, so it charges. And of course, it has a, a dynamo charger. Your battery's starting to run low. You can... And this isn't cheap junk. This isn't cheap Chinese junk. Uh, this is made by a really good brand. Uh, this is very high quality and reliable. Um, this is well worth buying. The main reason you want this is for the NOAA weather alerts, because that way you can get them wherever you are, and that's a very good thing. One of the things we talked about was starting your fire, uh, having a uh, survival blanket, maybe using it as a tarp, uh, a sandwich tarp, you and then the fire, and this will keep you very warm. Well, carrying the idea of uh, protection, your, say your vehicle is damaged, or for whatever reason you can't, you need to be outside, it's cold, trying to stay warm, you'll be out in the fire. What I really recommend is a good tarp. This is a nine by nine, what's called sil nylon tarp, and it's orange. So that is something I also really recommend, is that you buy a really good high quality tarp. This will be fairly expensive, depends on the size, 50 to 100 bucks. Go to Walmart and buy a, a $10 eight by 10 tarp. That's not what this is at all. This is gonna hold up under anything it's got sewn in, very well sewn in tabs that uh, it's got a ridge line you can hang from the tabs. So if you have trees, I'm in the forest here, I have, I have trees, I could run a ridge line. Uh, you gotta have, you know, I buy high quality reflective uh, paracord. I really recommend something like that. You can hang a tarp really easily and build a lean-to on one side fire uh, and then the lean-to and then you can close it, you can get out of the rain, the fire will keep you warm. Uh, that's a really, really big plus. Having a good tarp that's a signal and can build you a good shelter is a really, really good thing. So this is something to give, uh, a good tarp is something to give a lot of thought to. Uh, as uh, we've, I have a whole video out on uh, bear spray versus bear, bear gel. This is the gel. I recommend all of you have bear gel against bears, against coyotes. Uh, if you have a dog, uh, you, you want to protect your dog. So oh, finally, you need a chow bag. You can, go, you can go, well, we know the one lady lived 49 days with just a little, just a tiny little bit of food and nutrition. So what I do recommend 
is that you build to put together your own chow bag. It's going to be stuff that you like. You can't don't put things in here you won't eat because that just doesn't even make sense. There's a lot of uh, examples in here. Let me show you some. I believe I have 10,000 calories in here. So 1,000 calories a day, that's 10 days. 500 calories a day, that's 20 days. So there's at least 20, 20 days worth of calories in here. Some ideas, uh, beef jerky, you know, uh, there's some a lot of protein, more beef jerky, lots of beef jerky, can of Vienna sausages. Uh, this is butterscotch discs. This is hard candy, it lasts forever. I don't think it ever go bad. Uh, there's a thousand calories right here. So you pop a couple of three of these in a day, four, uh, and there's 60 calories per three of them. You eat three a day, and that's just, it's gonna give you a quick burst of energy. You're not gonna, just good to have, 1,000 calories. Nothing beats peanut butter. This is 2,880 calories. And so it's a very small, it's got nutrition in it, it's got protein in it, it's just not empty calories. I'd go through my, my, uh, my chow bag every six months if anything is close dated, you're concerned about anything, put it into rotation to eat it, and then uh, buy something else to replace it. One of the most important ones is uh, this little bag is 2,200 calories of trail mix. It's got some candy, it's got some nuts, some raisins, M&Ms, peanut M&Ms. You can buy, they make a uh, like a five pound bag of M&Ms that you could just force yourself to eat every six months. These are gonna last a really long time. I would leave. I wouldn't pull these out of rotation until like a year, because they last a long time. So you got this bag, you're gonna fill it full of stuff that you know you will eat, that has some health value, hopefully. Some other ideas I'll throw out to you. We talked a lot about, uh, um, we're gonna be able to have the ability to make fire. So uh, top ramen will work well. I believe you can just soak one of these and eat them after soaking them overnight. So ramen is uh, just shy of 200 calories per package or five package. This is 1,000 calories. Uh, this is a bag of chicken. This is only 250 calories for this little bag. It weighs nothing. Uh, it's protein. It's, oh, this is chicken. This is bagged chicken instead of canned chicken, so it should be a little lighter. And raisins, man, you can't go wrong with raisins. This is uh, about three, three or 4,000 calories. And well, some of it's just empty calories. Some of it's protein and health, healthy. Uh, this is at least 20,000 calories and uh, it's gonna last me, gonna keep me going quite a long time. If there's 20,000 calories in here, and I'm sure there is, then this is going to last to me. If 1,000 calories a day, it lasts 20 days. At um, 500 calories a day, really rationing, then it would last me 40 days. Uh, you can easily get a couple of months worth of food in a bag like this if you just make a little bit of effort. So if you're gonna have a bug out bag, you really kinda need a bag. I've been very, very happy with this one. It's a tac what they call a tactical bag. It has a, um, it does have a frame, a frame pack. So it's not a great backpack, but it's, it'll, it'll help you carry some of the weight. It's got a very good um, removable belt pad. That's very good. Uh, it's big, thick shoulders. I've been quite happy with this as a bag. I'll put a link into it below. It's very large. It's one open pouch. Something like this, just a big open pouch is, is uh, a very good thing. So I know I covered a lot of material and a lot of stuff. Uh, I hope you'll just go through it really quickly and find things that are useful to you that you think, yeah, that would be worth it, my effort, my time, I'll, I'll do that. And, and most of us don't have the money to spend on all this stuff. Uh, it's more of a hobby for a lot of people, survival and prepping. And so if this doesn't fit into your lifestyle, uh, then, you know, then just pick and choose whatever works for you and whatever doesn't, just leave it aside. Some of this is potentially life-saving, so it's probably worth having, and, and maybe you should uh, give us some thought to keeping it on board. So. Out of all this stuff, what was the one thing that surprised you and you thought, okay, well, I, you know, a lot of this is just kind of silly. I'm not gonna do that, but that makes sense. I'll do that. What was the thing, or hopefully things, that we covered that you thought, yeah, oh, that makes sense to me, I'll get that. I'd really love to hear from you, which was the one thing you thought was worth doing. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. It's a long one, the two of them were very long, uh, if you got anything out of this video, 
like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.